Okay, we're going to create a postlet for Secor Way. So what we do is we go to uh, postlets.com. And in this case, it's going to just bring us to the logged in screen because I'm already logged in. But if not, just go to Evernote and you can log in with the team address. You can see the um, postlets that are active. We're going to create a new one, so click on that. And I was just put in the um, address here, and in most cases it'll find it. Um, post it for sale. Click Save and Continue. And you can just go back to the listing at any point to verify the information. 377 is asking price. There's no HOA or maintenance fee. It's for sale by us. We're brokers. This is a single family house. Four bedrooms, two baths. In a lot of cases it pulls this information. 25, uh, 29. We're just going to verify this. Yep, living space. But in a lot of cases, it pulls us right over. So the year built, uh, down here, 2001. Number of floors is three. I just happen to know that. Uh, let's just be consistent in how many parking spaces that we have. Five spaces. So it'll be four plus, that's the max. Off street parking means that you don't have to park in the street. And there is laundry in this building. Save and continue. So now we're just going to basically upload the photos. And because we save everything in the team account, we just simply go to team account, marketing, pictures. I'm going to do the high res uh, because the print is for when we print them. And I'd like to do, you know, maybe six pictures here. Um, we're going to have most of our photos online, so we don't want to spoil our other marketing by having too, too much here. So do that one. We just pick the best ones, you know. Um, I always have favorites. Um, but I think it also makes sense to use different um, photos in the marketing, because that way whether you're looking at the property on this site or some other site, it's going to um, appear to be slightly different property. So we might be able to capture different um, different buyers with that. Um, I just want to pick the most spacious ones here. Let's see. Yeah. And whenever we can, we'll do like two outdoor ones. I think that's pretty cool. Good. Additional tour. We know that we have that because we've registered it and used it in other places. So make sure we add that here so we can kind of cross reference it and pull them back to our site. Click on Save and Continue for the property title. I'm always going to just use a street address. That's going to give us the best um, matching. And then for the description, just copy and paste what you see in the um, multiple listing service. And again, we're going to just put the um, web address here. Okay. Uh, if you can fill these out, usually you can see from the photos and from the listing sheet what we have. So we do have a living room, master bathroom, um, walk-in closet. Dining room and kitchen are kind of combined, so I'm not going to check that off in this case. Um, Do storage space. 
Range oven, refrigerator, dishwasher. Do we have a garbage disposal? We do. Exterior. So we have a lawn, yard, not sure what the difference is, but I'm going to select both of them. Front porch, of course. Forced hot air. We have central air on this one, air conditioning, some ceiling fans, double pane windows, cable ready, high speed internet. We'll check out as much as we can. Hard floor. I'm sorry, yeah, hardwood floors, tile, granite countertops. So again, just looking at the um, listing sheet, you can pull most of this information out. Off-street parking, save and continue. And if everything looks good, you can just kind of scroll through it, activate, post lit. Cool. It's done. That's how you set up a post lit.